All right, everybody. This is a tutorial on how to bypass the install starter ink cartridge error message uh, when you first set up your brother MFC J6930DW printer. This might work on other models, but this is specifically for this model because that's the one I have. Uh, as you can see, I spilled a bunch of fucking goop. Like I was trying to glue something, the back end of the bottle exploded all over the printer. Um, but other than that, when I got this, I got it for 15 bucks at a Salvation Army, brand new. So the tape, you know, this uh, stock factory tape, tape and all the shit closed, and it came with ink cartridges. Well, unfortunately for me, these were not starter ink cartridges. I imagine that's why whoever donated it donated it because either they got a laser printer, or they had these official brother print or uh, ink cartridges, but they weren't the starter ink cartridges. So let's just do a little pretending here and say this has the um, install starter ink cart cartridge. If you have put these in, it won't will not go past it. It's irritating as hell because you know they're official branded cartridges, but you have to have the ones that came with the printer that say starter cartridge. Well, I was talking to brother customer support and they gave me a kind of a loophole to get past it. So now. Let's pretend this is saying um, install starter ink cartridge. We're going to take out each one of these. Okay, now that once you've got all these removed, you're going to want to shut down your printer. Okay. Then once it's shut down, unplug it from the outlet. Kind of a bitch to do with one hand, but... And then you're going to want to leave it for 25 seconds. This is right from Brother Customer Support, so going to give it 25 seconds. Leave the uh, printer or the cartridge door open. And give it just a few more. I don't know what this has to do with anything, but um, you know that's what they say to do. So plug that bitch back in. Turn on automatically. <clears throat> It might say it's shutting down for a second. Okay, so it's going right back to... I was able to get to this home screen through this uh, whole setup thing. So, like before, we're going to pretend that this says install, you know, set up. You go through the date, you go through the time, and it'll say install starter ink cartridge. Uh, so, what you want to do is press and hold the home button while you're on that error message. And you'll get this black... Uh, kind of menu screen so I think you hold the home button for like 10 seconds or so now there's a blank black rectangle that you press and hold for a few seconds and once you let go it goes to this number pad now the first code you want to put in is the asterisk the little star 286 no, star 2864 so star two eight six four. So I want you to close the ink cover. No cartridge. So then you know I got the cartridge over here. Uh they're gonna type in six three mono start three. So six three mono start three. No N I N T, no cartridge. Now press nine nine. It'll, rest it'll restart, and then it'll come up with this message. Instead of the error message, it'll come up with the just regular no ink cartridge. Pop that sucker back in, and then install each one of these properly. Make sure it clicks when you put it in.
and then close the door. Then it'll prompt you through some more setup screens, uh, ask if you want to connect to your network, whatever. Make sure there's tray or paper in the tray and up top because it's going to detect whether there's paper in bo uh, both of them. And then to prime these cartridges, you go into this little uh, multicolor option, improve print quality, and check print quality. And then it'll run a test, it'll clean out your shit, prime your nozzles, and you'll get a piece of paper that looks like that. So that's pretty much how you bypass the install starter ink cartridge setting straight from Brother Customer Support. If you have any questions at all, uh, PM me or leave a comment. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for viewing.